we don't like the unknown because the unknown, we don't know what's going to happen. Right. And I'm saying we both and everyone at home should think less about I need to control so that the negative thing doesn't happen. It's more to be open to whatever. And I'm not talking about getting pegged or anything weird like that. I'm talking about in general. I got handcuffed today for the first time. I'm sorry. Say okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're talking. So start with a random conversation. I got you. Well, brother. tell me the truth. What happened with the cuffs? How did it happen? Where? Who? When? Why? How? Why? Again? Why? Who? Where? So when I left the store today, yeah. To go, I clocked out. Obviously, you know, it wasn't on. Of the course, clock. you did. Um, you can check the timesheet. Oh, I know. I, I checked it. Um, I. Uh, you know, I went and met up with someone. So when you told me that you had to go buy some pants, yeah, you were actually taking off your pants and someone else's at the same time. So it's like a Correct. double, almost a triple lie. Trip, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you weren't buying pants. Lie number one. Um, you were taking off pants. Two. And then you were taking off more pants. I mean, that's triple Three. lies. Yeah. So who was this beautiful, lovely man or woman that you were uh, enjoying? Oh, you want a name? Yeah. Well, not a name, but something that I could uh, give me something so I know what. Well, why do you had to leave work? And then Shamik left work, and then I'm off the clock. I mean, I was on the Wait, clock. Wait, Shamik, he left work for what? He went to go get a phone from Culver. Oh. So I'm on the floor by myself, unpaid. Crazy. Praying to God I could get a disgusting sale. Not that, nice. you know, which I didn't. Anyway, so while you guys were fucking around. Yeah. And I was working like a Hard. dog. Yeah, you're the man. That's why. Well, I mean, I'm a man of the people. I'm there for everybody. Absolutely. So tell me about this excursion you went on. So the excursion itself was not that. Right. So the excursion itself the excursion itself was actually very much what you'd expect from me. It was, you know, me doing the beating, me doing the so the uh, throwing around, MC me doing the, the control. Doing his typical um, dominant type sex, which Correct. we all know you like, and I do too. It's a good way to do it. Not mm-hmm. always. I feel like you do it all the time. Me, I like. I'm like a fifty fifty. Uh, Sometimes I'm a very. I do the. I do the natty daddy, where I'm like very soft. You're do. You're doing so good mm. in that, and then then you switch it to the nah. dirty slut type stuff. But where did you meet this lovely, beautiful young? Man or woman? I'm assuming a woman, most likely. Yes. I've woman. never known you to be with a guy. No, not yet. No, not yet. Anyway, so tell me, tell me about this, and why? Tell me why you thought you needed to lie about it, and you couldn't just be real with it. Because me. if I told you I'm leaving to go do this, you know, do that, it's you know, it doesn't sound. What do you as, think I'm going to do? Not that, it, but it's like if I tell you, because in all honesty, I was planning on going and getting pants, but there just wasn't enough time. So I was like, eh, fuck it, because like it was like I'd have to rush right. to go get the pants. So I was like, eh, fuck it, I'll just go get them tomorrow. The I'm off tomorrow. Um, so go back to why you had to lie to me who you think I'm judgmental or something. Nah, I just in front of customers and with like sh- my other employees there, I didn't want to be like, Hey, I'm going to go leave and do this. Cause I don't want them leaving. I'm pretty sure you didn't. There was no one else around. There were customers there. You could have told me in the back or I could have told me. you. Yeah. But like for what? I told you no. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you lied to me. All That's right. not good. I yeah. don't lie to you. Why do you lie to me? I mean, I'm, I'm happy you're coming clean. I lied I to you because in the moment, there's not no good to lie to people, even me, especially me. Well, We're friends. I get that, Supposedly. but I have two. I have two subordinates who I can't say that to. Okay, well, you don't have to. I mean, you obviously. want me to take you in the back and tell you the truth when I lie to them? Like for what? I'm telling you now. Because we're, we're you all said about four. We, because we don't lie. To I'm each telling other. you now. Well, we don't lie to each I other. I told you as part of a group of collectives that I didn't want to know. I mean, you are coming clean, so I do fuck with that. But if I wanted to lie, still, I wouldn't have told you. I know. Still. You know, don't lie to me. So anyway, pull tell you me. in the back, pull you to the side. Hey, listen, man, I know I told them well, this, I mean, but you, like, this is really like, what's going on. Hey, I'm going and to buy pants. Leave. So I'm a over here just secret. like, yeah, Mike's buying pants. And I'm like, this is weird. I do have to buy okay. pants, though. My, my jeans have a anyway. My jeans have a hole in the crotch the size of like my foot. So the size of your cannon, 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 cannon. <laughs> yes. Anyway, tell me about the lovely, beautiful. Lady. So it started out normal, you know, just average, like what I normally do, dominant, Aggressive. No, 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 no. Where did this girl come from? Is my question. Oh, I met her at one of the stores. Customer. From from our store or yeah, a different store? Not our store, no. 
Okay, okay. Different store. Had you? It was the first time you guys had engaged no. in. Uh, so it's like a. It was f- us doing. Buddy. It was us doing it as a. You're moving, so we're not going to get this again. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Because the big move is coming. Mm-hmm. We can talk about that later, but yeah. Okay. So Continue. we did that, and it was fantastic. And the entire time was me being dominant, and like you know, sure, the, slapping the, the shit out of her. The MC2 like, method. Yep, bro. Like, but she was getting like glowing red, bloody, like oh, you know, bloody in the mouth. No, in the like, I was just hitting. I was spanking her oh. so hard that mm. blood was coming to the surface. Yes. Um. Yes. But after everything was said and done, we were done doing everything. She pulls out handcuffs. Pause. Pause. She pulls out. Yes. So she Had was them. pegging you. No. 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 What? Pulled out. She pulls out handcuffs. Okay. You said she pulled out as if to say she pulled out. No, see. You know what pulling you out stop means. listening a millisecond before I said handcuffs. The second I hear, yeah, I hear pull out, I'm thinking. Yeah. She pulled out handcuffs <clears throat> from her bag. Oh, and she, goes, she wanted to cuff you. She goes, we didn't even get to use these. And I'm ah. like, damn, that's crazy because like, I would have enjoyed using them. Yeah, and she's fun. like, Let's let me put now. them on you. Oh, she did want to do it on you. And I was like. All right. That's a whole different and then she story. Hit me, she hit me with like the, you're under arrest, da, 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 which, you know, whatever. So you're becoming a switch. And then she put them on me. And I was just thinking like, okay, I'm going to just like feel it out, whatever. Ooh, it's interesting. And then she just like pushed me back onto the couch. And my hands were like behind me. So now I got 220 pounds Jeez, on my hands. Way. Me, my weight. Oh, yeah. 220 pounds. <laughs> okay. Because I her. fell back Plus on my hers. weight. Thought, She's probably okay, like 110. Okay, 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 okay. Um, but yeah, and then she like. I thought you were just saying she that. She sat on me and we were just talking, you know, whatever, whatever. And you're just like. And I'm sitting there and then she does. And she knew that she knows that I don't fuck with like being submissive. Right. So Yet. she did that. And then she put her hand around my throat. Oh, this is a whole new world. And then you. I was sitting there and I'm like, I can't do a thing. I can't get out of this. I can't move. If I get up, which I might not even be able to get up, if I was to get up right now, she'd fall and hurt herself, so I can't do that. And she could just put your arm. You got no arms. Yeah, also, like, if I go to sit up, she just pushed me down. Like, it's not hard. So that's a trust exercise. So I was sitting there, and I was like, this is fucked. And I felt like such a little bitch because... (laughs) I could literally had zero power. Not it even a little bit. Of it, high, it didn't turn you power. on at all. Not even close. Yeah, I agree. That'd be that'd be freaky. I was sitting there and I'm like, she can do as she pleases with me, and I just have to kind of like deal with it. And I don't like that at all. Yeah, at all. Oh, trust me, I know. I'm, and I'm the same. we were in the car afterwards. I was driving her back, and she was like, "I felt when you uh, when like you like lost or whatever. power." Ah. She's like, "I felt you get sub- like I felt you Ooh. lose power." And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I felt when you recognized you that felt, you had no power. Yeah. Like, she was like, you the went energy. from being MC2 to being yeah. like MC1 yeah. or something. Because I, I, I was literally like laying on the couch and I was like, she was just straddling me. She can do whatever talking she to wants. Me. She and can, I'm like, she's in charge. I'm The entire time she's talking, I'm listening to her, but also thinking like, how would I get out of this if I had to? And I just, there's no, there's no possible way for me to just get out. I'd have to somehow get up and use my feet to do everything. Which well, like, you are. Uh, well, that's, Tell the people, pretty good at football. Yeah, it's great and all, until I got to like open a door or drive, then I'm fucked. Well, you got to do the thing where you, you kind of I tried these. That. I couldn't. I, I'm not. I'm, well, I your arms are kind of a T-Rex a little bit. I got bit. short arms. I couldn't yeah. do that. So I was sitting, because like, my hands were above, like right at my tailbone, a little above so my you tailbone. Actually, did you try it for real? I actually Was tried. she in the room with you, or she like yeah. left the room? No, she was in the room. Oh, you tried to escape while she was yeah, there? Yeah, she was going to take him off, and I'm like, let me try this real quick. Because ah, I want to yeah, see, like, yeah. in the future, if this can is I thing, do it, can if I, if I do I it? actually get, if it's not a hot yeah, chick, exactly. it's some freak right. or something. And I tried, and I couldn't. And I was like, bro. You could, though. I feel like you could. If I really, really, really tried you didn't hardcore. Want to dislocate your shoulder or yeah, something. it wasn't worth it, though. Wow, but, yeah, so that happened, and I was just like, this verifies that I definitely do not like giving up power at all. Even I'm with you there. So, so did, while you were in this helpless position the the cnc uh, almost yeah did she not to get too graphic but did she make moves on you she sucked you off no. something like that we or? just got done so she just did it to, for fun basically yeah 
to see if you would be down with it. Yeah, I mean, if she, she found did, out you weren't really down with yeah, it, bro, she probably wants to do it the next time. Yeah, hypothetically. Well, there's, no, like, there's no next time. Well, yeah. Sh- well, I mean, you'll be back in Rochester. You have family, et cetera, et cetera. You'll see her again probably before you yeah. die. So it's like she's probably thinking, okay, let me test this out because like if he's down with it when he comes back. Well, I told her I'm down to try it before, but she's never really done it. And then before I, she had pulled him out, she's like, she tried it this time, and I was like. Cause like I'd be down if you're like if I'm laying there and you're like you know like and you know I'm getting like hat or something, probably gonna ch- be chilling. Well, yeah, that's like but then when you like type. sit there and you actually like come to and you think about the reality of the situation, like I'm handcuffed right now. What ha- what that's if paranoia? What if she's crazy and she's gonna like try and kill me? I have zero possibilities for myself. But that's very very rare. Yeah, of course. But I still think that's why I don't like to give up power because I don't trust a lot of people. But you expect them to trust you. Yes. So make it make sense. I'm a good person. No. So why aren't they? They could be too. Absolutely. But I just, I always think about like worst case scenario in every scenario. You should stop doing I that. told you that like even my reasoning behind yeah, like know, hanging out with people is like because people die. Like I think of that shit. I know, but don't you think it's like... I don't want to give up power. I don't, I don't want to be handcuffed. I don't want to be handcuffed. I don't I, want to be I, choked. I agree. I agree. I don't want that. I agree. So if you're about to sit here and be like, hey, listen, just no. be the sub. No, That's no, a no, good no. idea. I'm not behind it. Not you what I'm t- Put it in the comments. Tell them and put it in the comments how they like it. Not me. Not me, not now. I'm making smart choices about being subs. No. Nope. Definitely not saying that, by the way. So then what are you saying? I was saying something. I forgot what it was. Because it wasn't important. No, no, no. I was saying... So next time she's going to come back and well, you're going to come back to Rochester or mm-hmm. wherever we live. We've said it so many times. <laughs> I know, bro, I it's over. But anyway, she's thinking, OK, let's let's do that next time. But like, you know, she'll get on top or whatever, whatever. She'll do her thing. Mm-hmm. You might like it more if, you know, it's not just like this s- slave situation where she's if she's you know, if you're coming, you know, sorry, kids, turn your ears off. If you're coming, you're probably going to like it a little bit more, most likely. You might learn to like it. You might become a switch because there's, you know, there's all sorts of terms, right? All that shit. Dominant, submissive, this, that. Couldn't be me. Switch. I didn't need As soon as I felt my hands and you said pulled stuck out. behind my back, immediately, I there was no part of me that could get turned on. Mm. Like, she was kissing me, and I couldn't even focus on kissing. Because you was were, like, just, I wasn't, anxious. Yeah. I wasn't with it. Ah, that's my point. That's what I was saying. My thing was, we both, we've talked about this many, many, many times. You think more about like the worst case scenario and I think about best case scenario. Uh And obviously, it's always somewhere in between. But you know the power of now, right? Yeah. And how thinking about paranoid thoughts about the future what if this happens what if that happens you're unconscious you're just basically you're turning your brain against itself and that's just bad bad thinking you know that you've read the book what's your point i'm saying do less of that do less of thinking about the bad uh yeah i don't think about the bad all the time but when my hands are cuffed behind me (laughs) i mean i do but in general, I'm not thinking about you, you attacking me right now. Well, of course. Why would you? I've never showed signs that I'm just going to attack you out of nowhere. Neither is this but person. But if I tied you up and had you hanging from the ceiling, you might be worried. Well, I mean, that'd be different, obviously. But like the whole point is, the whole thing about like you're cuffed. She wants to like fuck you and like have a good time. No, she and just did thinking, it to do it for fun. Okay, but like she's not trying to kill you or anything. I know. And your mind is saying, oh. What if she kills yeah, me? Yeah, but I don't like. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, but I don't like. It's not that I, I didn't really put too much thought into that, but the lack of control. Control. I didn't. I like yeah, to control yeah. no, everything. I, I get that. I get that. And I've said that on the podcast before. I well, like we both controlling have that. We both everything. Have that same thing. Yeah. And not even sexually. In but life, I think that is in general. In life, yeah. I like to control everything. But you know That's why? why you know why? Right? Why? What do you What do you think? I don't know why. I like control. It That's what comes I comes down to fear because if you're carefree you have nothing to fear you don't care what happens you don't need control mm-hmm. if you're worried it means well that's what it is no, it's actually like you know what i don't know what you're scared of the idea of something happening that you can't control because then what the unknown that's the unknown i think that i trust myself more than i trust anyone else that's why i like control 
I trust that what I'm going to do is always better than the next person to myself or to a scenario that I'm involved in. So no one knows better than you? When I'm in control, yeah. Like, I'll give up control. Like, for example, right? You, uh, it sounds- you, bought, you bought beer for us. I trusted you to buy a beer that I would drink. Right, but a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. when I said the same thing, you said no. I said, hey, you want me to get some drinks? No. And then I brought mine, and then we had to go to the store and get beers. And then I was like, and you got like a Corona. And I go, bro, I could have got you a Corona. So you found out that the fear was not real. And then a couple weeks later, you did give me the power. You gave away your power to allow me to buy you mm-hmm. a beer, which yeah. is a Bud Light. So your example is good, but it's like, remember a couple weeks ago, I don't you think didn't I said me no that. for that reason. Yeah. Why did I say no? What was I doing? Because I know I left and came back. I was saying, I'm going to get some beers. You want me to get you yours? And you're like, no, because you didn't think I was going to get the right one, basically. No. Yeah. No. Well, oh, you're going to CVS. Yeah, I didn't think yeah. CVS had the right shit. I thought CVS had like one or two beers. So you didn't trust in my ability to get you the beer at CVS? I didn't trust in CVS's ability to stock their beer correctly. Yeah. Okay. Because I know that I know and the one you... gas station I go to, what they have. Sure. CVS, I've never, I didn't even know CVS was there. And it, so we're back to the same thing. There's the known mm-hmm. and the unknown. Yeah. So we, everyone likes the known, obviously. The known what are you trying great. to say, man? I'm saying both of us. You tell you trying to tell the people that you want to get pegged. Is that uh, it? What's up? No, not, we're not talking about no nothing about I'm talking about giving up power and all this Stop shit. Be, uh, no, we're not. Ta- we're 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 way past the sex thing. We're talking about more of Just a big general control that I like to have. The, yeah, be, I'm saying giving up control is being okay with the unknown. Yeah. Yes, of course. Okay. And, and I so am. what I'm saying is, I'm not trying. See, I feel like you feel like I'm def- I'm attacking you. I'm not coming at you. I know you saw that. I'm not coming at you. This isn't like an attack. Like, you, you suck. You're you need to do speaking better. Speaking in generalities right now? I'm saying you. So you're not attacking me, but you're saying I'm you. I'm talking about you. All and right. it's something that affects me, too. Gotcha, gotcha. But I'm saying the thing about needing control, which I, we both have the same control thing. Right. I think yours is a little more than mine, but it doesn't fucking matter. We're Definitely. both high in control. We want to control things because we don't like the unknown because the unknown, we don't know what's going to happen. Right. And I'm saying we both and everyone at home should think less about I need to control so that the negative thing doesn't happen. It's more to be open to whatever. And I'm not talking about getting pegged or anything weird like that. I'm talking about in general, like the beer or whatever. The overall thought for our people at home, the whole reason we have this podcast is to spread. Shamik asked me today, why do you guys do the podcast? Like, what's the whole, what's your, what are you trying to accomplish exactly? Mm-hmm. And he brought me back to like day one. And I'm like, honestly, it's about spreading love. It's about spreading joy. It's about the power within. It's about not fucking with fear. Fear is the illusion. All that stuff that we talk. We don't we talk about we talk less about the spiritual stuff than we used to because how many times are, can you say all is one and shit? Like it gets old, but like we gotta stay on that because that's that is what this is about. And then of course there's you know what's going on in the world, Jack Black. Uh, the Jumanji squad and all these all these fucking weirdos doing weird shit with all this stuff. We want to spread awareness, basically. But, like, the number one awareness is the mental awareness, which is, like, the trust in self, trust in the whole thing. So giving up control is the answer, and both of us struggle with that. We both do. It's not just you. I'm saying this because it's coming up. It's just happening in conversation. I didn't plan to talk about this. Right. Right. But like, let go. The answer is to let go. It's, never, mm-hmm. it's not hold on. It's let go. So we're, we're both doing the hold on thing. And I'm just saying, everyone at home, to you specifically, because I do love you. You are my brother and all that shit. And I see your path and all that stuff. And letting go is going to be, for everyone, is, that's the answer. So that's Absolutely. All. That's what I'm saying. So it's not about the sex part is just that's kind of what got me to it. But I'm not saying let her do whatever she wants because you learned it doesn't feel good to me. I don't want to be the right. sub. Mm-hmm. That's not saying be the sub. Right. Because both of us, we're not subs. We're, we're not going to. It doesn't really get us get our juices flowing. Mm-hmm. It kind of takes our juices and unflows them. Absolutely. So anyway, unflows it. But uh, <clears throat> no, I was watching a video too. Uh, it was. Uh, Actually, a guy that you've shown me, 
in the past. It's one of those guys that uh, not one of those guys. It's the guy that says he channels aliens and he closes his eyes and talks to the crowd with his eyes closed. Ooh, was it um? I don't know his name. So even if you say bald it, guy, I was he bald? So, yeah. Yeah. I and there was someone name. that was asking him a question. How do I? How do I let go of control? How do I? How do I just? I think it was something to that effect. And how do you do or it? How do I learn to trust? I, I, she asked, how do I learn to trust? Which goes similar to this thing. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. And he's like, well, you don't trust people now. And she's like, no. And he's like, so you trust that thought that you don't trust people. And she's like, well, yeah. Ah, so and she he knows how to trust. kind of was going through that. And he's like, you trust everything. You just trust the thoughts that you have now. So you can just trust the same way you do now. With the things you want to do, you could trust people mm. instead of trusting the thought that people don't yeah, so that, yeah. don't have your best interest at heart. Right. There's two and it's the same thing with control. In order to give away control, you're controlling your ability to give away control. You're just controlling your mind. Exactly. At the end of the day, yeah, because there's all because we always talk about the two voices. There's always the one that says you can't do it, the one that says you can. Correct. And you're putting your trust in the one that says you can't. Right. And it's like if you can trust the voice that says you can't, just switch the trust to the one you can. Mm-hmm. Just like make the decision. Simple as that. Mic check. Nice. Yeah, no, I've, been, I've been actually checking it because nice. we've had some issues, guys, if you haven't noticed. I'm going to tape it up, though. One day. Next week, even. Mm, next week. By now. I mean, I got the tape. I found the tape. Well, I, lo- I bought the tape. Oh, wow. Investing. So, so basically, if you guys don't know, we missed an episode a couple weeks ago. Yep. And it was because it was a great episode. It actually was. Our last episode was not the worst, but, you know, not our best. Because maybe me, the whole thing was like, we had the week before, it was really good. The Trump felony happened. A lot of wild shit happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we went hard. And the next week, we lost the whole episode because, well, I'm not going to say who it was. But I, I, it was me. And I was wiping, you know, the cat hair off the mic, as I do. You know, you don't want cat hair in your face or anything. Never. And uh, I turned off my mic. So the whole the whole episode is MC2, just bars, bars, bars. And I'm like, so, you know, it. and I even joked and I was like, yo, send me the video and I'll watch it and I'll dub over everything I say. I did say that. Such a nonsense thought. Honestly, it could have been, it would have taken a long, long time. That would have taken like a month to release that No, episode. I could have done it in a few days. How would you have known what you said? Do you well, understand the difference in, like, when your mic is off and my mic is on, do you understand that you literally can't even hear a whisper from you? All right. Well, let me ask you. Who said you it? You would just read your lips on the camera. Like, you know what well, I'm saying? Well, okay. So there's there's a few factors. There's reading the lips. Sure. Yeah. There's this slight amount of audio that would come through. And there'd be some audio. There was none. Okay, none. And then what you're discounting the thing that you always discount. Uh, the person that said it was me, and I know me. Thank you. The mem- the human memory is a real thing. Yeah, but not when you're inebriated the entire time. According to you. So so I say something like that. The human memory is real, and you say, no, it couldn't. You could no, never remember. The human remember. memory is absolutely real, but when you're in a, a in, in chemically induced state of consciousness, sure. you cannot possibly, you can but you won't remember as well because okay. you're drunk. So sure, they're that's like, fair. so when that's fair. when I when we were having the conversation about you at the bar last week, and I said you said this and you did this and you sure. did no, I didn't. But if I oh, watched, did I really? But if I watched the video, don't you think I would know what I was saying? My if point I told is, you you touched my hat multiple times and I said no, and you go no, I and didn't. you showed me a video of it. But I told you and you said no, I didn't. Did I really? I told you. I did didn't it. say no, I didn't. I was. I was blackout drunk, so I didn't remember. That's different. My point is, you're watching. Put it in your put, put it in your shoes, because I know you mm. like to be the contrarian, and that's your mm. thing. You like to say no and everything. That's fine. I'm the yes, you're no. We have a good balance. But I'm saying it's a video of you. You can see your lips moving. You can see the flow of the conversation. You do have some sort of memory of your life, I would assume. So it's like if you say. Hey, Pat, blankety blank. And then, first of all, what, what what do you think I would say? Sometimes I'll watch the podcast and I will have been blackout drunk doing the podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'll be watching it and you'll be saying something and I'll think to myself, ooh, 
I should say this. And then I end up saying it because, oh, it's the same guy. It's mm. like the day later. So like my mind doesn't completely change. We're like, when you say a certain thing, I'm going to say a certain response, most likely because of all my life experience and who I am, my personality, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not just going to say some off the wild, off the wall shit that like makes no sense. Like you say something, I'm like, yeah, purple dinosaurs yesterday. Like I'm not going to say some Biden shit. The ice cream in Alabama. Like I'm not going to do that. But what I'm, about right now? You said the purple dinosaurs thing. Because I'm making a point. So what if your mic didn't work? And you had so to do for doing that, that that line right there would probably be a struggle for okay. me. But I'm saying so. So what I would do is and we agree. We no, no, you <laughs> no, we don't agree because you say it's impossible. I say Not it would be difficult. But it's, yes, I said, difficult no, no, no. is fine. I said it was going to take a month, and you're like, no, a couple days. I said. Days is crazy. Imagine so the dinosaur. You have lines. a job now that you Think work of, eight hours. I a day. know, and my shorts have not been coming out. So listen. So you're telling me that in the in the free time you have with this eight hour a day job, I said possible. Anything's possible. And my point is, think about the dinosaur. Riley line. can listen. Listen. Shit I know at you, us right now. Yes, like I know you're. Possible. Listen, your impossible defense that you use is garbage. Yeah. Because by it's the way, the only defense it's, to it. It's not a real defense. Yeah, it's it just is. saying. It's saying. Anything's possible, so nothing's possible. Were you not the one that said that everything can happen and anything can happen? But to use that as defense is garbage. Is that not what you said verbatim? It is true. Of course it's true. An hour ago. It is very true. So then it's a a real thing. But to use that as a defense against everything is just a way to say, just to close things off. Everything is real. Anyway, let me finish my thing and we'll move on. Mm. Yes, we both agree that we disagree. No, everything is real. Of course everything's real. Yeah. And, And it's also an illusion. And a million other there things. There we go. Life is a paradox, guys. Get yes. used to it. Anyway, the point is, you get to the point in the video. Mm. So I'm, so I'm me, and I'm, and I know I got Mike in my ear saying you can't do it, you can't do it. And I'm ignoring you, and I'm just doing it. So I'm watching the video, and we get to the dinosaur part, and I'm like, and I go back, and I don't I have no idea, and I'm watching it over and over again, and eventually, and I, I'm gonna watch it maybe twenty, thirty, forty, fifty times. It doesn't take that long to rewatch a video of some guy going, purple dinosaur. So I'm like, purple dinosaur. First of all, I have a memory. So I'm going to say, oh, yeah, purple dinosaur, because I do have a memory. Mm-hmm. And then there's the fact that I'm saying purple dinosaur, and there's the context of the conversation. Mm-hmm. SAT questions. It's a really good example. It'll, the SAT questions are like, it'll be a sentence with like a couple blanks. And it's like, fill in the blank, even though you, have, you don't know anything but the context of the sentence. And to be a, you know, smart person or whatever to get the SAT question right you have to be able to fill in the blanks without knowing anything but the context Mm -hmm. so we have context we have knowing who I am we have the memory of what happened we have the audio that I'm sure some audio picks up the point is it's not impossible and maybe at the end of the whole thing instead of purple purple dinosaurs I say like penguin pussy or something and I dub that instead Mm mm-hmm Still a good dub anyway. Who gives a fuck? All right. Fair. So I guess I that's can't it. argue that. Because even if I get it wrong, first of all, I'm gonna get most of it right. I might get a couple of things wrong. That would make it funnier, almost. Yeah. Like you know those NFL dubs. Turn off your mic. We'll do it. No, I'm not doing it because I'm gonna sit there and spend three days to doing that shit. Fuck no. We uh, should do one. Maybe we should do one one time though. A dub. A dub a video? Well, I mean, you're calling me out, so I mean, I feel like the challenge has been uh, dropped. There you go. Do, just dub the rest of it. I'll I'll post it. On yeah, YouTube but and the you thing is, it. the I don't want to. I'm not even doing the shorts. You think I'm going to do three days of dubs? Well, it only takes a few days. I I'm more important. The shorts are more important. Yeah, but now it's a, now it's a whole video that needs to come out on Sunday, and you uh, you only need a few days. Not worth. We'll do the end of the. We'll do the last like five minutes. I'm not gonna do 20 minutes of it. I'd rather not do it at all. Personally, I was just kidding. Okay, fair. <clears throat> well, I'll do the last few minutes though. All right. I'll do the last like the last when we finish the tarot reading. I'll turn my mic off mm-hmm. and we'll do the rest of the show, and then I will. And then if you could send me either the full clip or that last bit, and I will dub over it and send it back to you, and the people will know. Hey, it's possible if you believe. You gotta be tall in the mind. You gotta be taller than the insecurities that tell you impossible. That there's there's two voices. There's impossible, and then there's nothing is impossible. There's only one right voice. 
and Which nothing is, is in it's two that was this one no it's both the the deuce the bra there's everything's impossible and nothing is impossible well like there's 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 one voice one says everything sucks voice two says everything's beautiful mm. that's the one you want to listen to but they're both right no the one that's right is the one that says impossible you said they're both is bullshit right. no i'm not saying they're both right you just said that you put up two of my fingers to say that. no no that's not. two means the, there's one answer and then there's a second answer so like one two three four yeah I'm not saying three means one and one and one or one plus two. No, I'm saying one. Ugh. Put in the comments, guys. Why is this guy being so uh, much of a contrarian? Can you not? Do you just want to argue? Is that what it is? Only when you're wrong. About what, though? Anything. I want to make sure I that you I feel like you're um, very argumentative lately, more than normal even. I, I just want you Put to. Put in the comments. I want you to be right. I am right. Yeah, but when you're wrong, I want you to understand that you there's a right okay, way well, to be. Okay, well, prove me wrong with words then. <clears throat> I did. How? Say it. You didn't. What do you mean anything how? Anything is possible. You didn't like it. I said anything is possible. I'm saying to use the anything is possible defense to say that every every uh, every statement is, is possible? bullshit yeah. is a bad way to talk because you're not really trying to have an intellectual conversation. You're just trying to... Shut down something with your everything's possible. So fuck you. All I'm saying is you're I not wanna, trying to. All I'm saying is make I a get, conversation I don't happen. Get handcuffed. That's all I'm saying, man. I know you do, but I don't. You're back to that. That's all. That's Bro. what this whole stem from. Is that? But we went bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you you get stuck sometimes in yeah, the handcuffs. On Django Unchained, brother. What? Un-jangle Django a chain? Unchained. What's that mean? You know the movie Django Unchained? No. I'm saying break the chains in your mind. Forget about the actual handcuffs. Break the chains in your mind. That's motivational. That's what this podcast is about, I'm brother. I'm sitting here motivated now. Riley's even motivated. Look at Riley's, Riley's looking at she you like, still wants more I'm food. ready to go. She's ready to go. She doesn't even want to look at me. No. Nah. Anyway, so let's get back to the cuff. Mm. So obviously, I think you understand that uh, you're not really a cuffy; you're more of a cuffer. Yes, and some, I can agree with that. Yeah, and I know I mentioned Jack Black earlier. Do you remember where that came from? Because he was doing some freaky shit this week. You mentioned Jack Black and the Jumanji crew. Yes, 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 yes. So we've we've talked about the Jumanji crew before, the Kevin Hart's of the world, the Pebble or Rocks of the world. The Jack Blacks of the world. We don't really talk about Jack Black very often. We haven't yet. Because Jack Black's dope. I mean, he makes amazing music with Tenacious D. He's had a funny movie. He's been in good movies. He's mm-hmm. a funny guy. He seems to be very, you know, he's done a lot of mushrooms. Would he you say he's to a good be actor? pretty woke. I would say he's he's one of those actors who always plays himself. Like mm-hmm. a, like a, um, the guy we talked about before. Jack, not Jack Nicholson. He's he's a good actor. So Jack Nicholson is a really good actor. Mm-hmm. Jack Black is like a funny comedic actor. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't say he's a good actor necessarily, like where he can play a, mo- a bunch of different roles. Mm-hmm. But he's really good at what he does. In the same way that who's the guy I'm thinking of? John Cena. Oh God, no, he's worse, way worse than Jack Black. He said he plays himself. Yeah, but he does it worse. The Rock. No, no, no. No, um, the guy who was doing all the political activism and everyone hates him now. The Godfather, he was in all these gangster movies. Oh, De Niro. De Niro, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes. like, we had this conversation a week or two ago about how De Niro is a good... De Niro always plays De Niro. Yes. Jack Black always plays Jack Black. There's certain actors who are really good at playing themselves. Mm. And then there's actors like Gary Oldman, I mentioned, Daniel Day Lewis, etc., who they act, they have range. Mm. So Jack Black is really good at what he does. Same thing with the other guy. But same thing with Kevin Hart, same thing with uh the Pep or the Rock, all that shit. So we talked about how, you know, The Rock basically betrayed America with the whole, you know, the stuff in Maui. Maui and, you know, all that shit. Kevin Hart. I mean, there's a reason. I don't know about Kevin Hart necessarily, but kind of weird how his rise from nowhere to everything came. And Cat Williams mentioned him pretty hard. 
as someone who was like oh, for yeah. sure dirty. Mm-hmm. And then, so we're talking about Jumanji. Then we got Jack Black. Well, I was, I was like, Jack Black, you know, Tenacious D. But basically, he's gotten got. And he did a huge speech at the Biden thing. I saw the video. Wearing the Biden shirt with the overalls and saying, if our man doesn't win. So basically, the Jumanji crew's completely been gotten. Now, the Pebble did, the Rock did recently come back and say, I changed my mind. I'm Trump now. But I think it's just because. Do you think that's just like a, a ploy? He knows. He sees where the wa- some people. He sees where the wave is going. Yeah, but wouldn't you think you'd want Biden still? Not if you know where the wave is going to going to crash. You don't want to be on True. the Biden side. So he's smart enough to switch teams, but we don't forget what you did, Rock. Okay, and then to see, and like Kevin Hart, he's all over um, the streaming shit. Have Twitch you seen this? And all the yeah. So what does that mean? Trying to get the kids. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart's cool. Kai Sinat is cool. From what I've seen, this Kai Sinat guy is cool. But if they're yeah. if they're if they're pulling him into the whole thing, that's the next level. Hollywood is corrupt. We know that they're going to get the streamers next. Absolutely, that those are the next people voting, and that's where everyone's looking. All the kids are looking at that shit. No that's one's right. watching Netflix. I mean, a little Netflix, but they're not watching the news. No. They're not watching even movies. No one gives a fuck about because movies. Are everyone's garbage. doing everyone's news and movies. That's all on the internet now. No one's actually. No one's turning on the TV. It's all through your phone or your laptop or computer. And even movies, the are there any good movies? No. God, no. Once in a while, but movies used to be like the silver screen. Now it's like Hollywood is pedophile city, so. Which it literally is. So the streamers are like, okay, these are real people. We can trust them. And then change And them. now the Jumanji crew is creeping in there. Mm-hmm. This 60-year-old man, Kevin, and listen, man, if you're not in it, fine, but, I mean. He's in it. There's even He's a clip with him and the girl Carrie Underwood, I think it was. Maybe not. It was a country music singer where she's on TV saying like, and you know, if you don't go to these parties sometimes, like she started talking to Illuminati and Kevin was like, shh, 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 shh. shut up. Really? Like, Google it. It's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Which, big ups to him because he's, I guess, trying to protect her. While she also, already been though. While also being part of the thing. Yeah. But I think he's thinking like, you can't you can't say this because they'll kill you basically. Oh, true, true, true. Hypothetically, so damn that's fucking crazy. I didn't realize that. It's always nice to see like the ones that are pre and post. Like I saw something online uh, about uh, the blonde hair thing. What's that? Everyone who's like going through that whole like being part of the bullshit dyes their hair blonde. Oh, like Eminem when he did the Slim Shady thing. Eminem, Pete Davis. Or whatever his oh, name yeah. is. He's definitely. Katy Perry. Brad Pitt. No, not Brad. Not Brad. Brad Pitt did it no. too? Uh-huh. He just likes Brad uh, Adam Levine. Um, okay. Justin Bieber. Well, obviously. They all dyed their hair blonde. And you know about the... the, the Kanye. Uh, mm. Mm. Chris and, Brown. Uh, like, mad of them just dyed their hair blonde. Interesting. I mean, yeah, but that could be a coincidence. I mean, I used to put fucking sun in in my hair. I, w- I wanted to dye my hair blonde as a kid. Yeah, but it's not so cool anymore. does that mean... Uh, yeah, but like if I did because I was It was only like, cool because Backstreet Boys did it. Right, but, That's if I, why. but if I was to say I'm like a, a, a new up-and-coming celebrity and I'm just like figuring it out and I'm like, oh, look at how cool the blonde is. Let me do the blonde. It's, that's what's popular. Yeah. And then I do it. Now everyone thinks I'm in on it just because I was just following the trend. So you got to... There is a difference because there's some people who get caught up in it and there's some people who are like in it. Well, the people that we know are in it and the people that we don't know are in it are doing the same thing. But of the list that I just named, 80% of that list we know for a fact are in it. So you're telling me Tom Hanks used to have blonde hair? Maybe. Probably. We're on to you, Tom. Bieber, for a fact. Of course. And he was a little kid. So Katy he, Perry, for a fact. She's on the list. I mean, I don't disagree. She was the one who had the eye th- malfunction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately Pete for Davis. her. Davidson. Definitely. Davidson. Yeah, Davidson. Not yeah funny, Davidson. obviously. And his movie, no no offense, Pete, as someone whose dad, you know, had, I have daddy issues too and everything, but 
think his might be a little God worse than God damn, yours. was that His movie might be a garbage. little worse than yours. That movie lie. sucked. What movie are you talking about? He had a movie called The King of Staten Island, I think. It oh, was yeah. And I really wanted to like it. And I had another bastard friend of mine who didn't meet his dad and... We we're like, kind of like, yeah, Rooting Pete Davidson, he's our boy. No dad, no problem. His dad died though. Like he knew his dad. He knew his dad was a bitch. Kidding, Crazy. kidding, kidding, kidding. Crazy. Any, I'm joking. <laughs> That's funny though. But anyway, uh, no. But the movie sucked. Uh, he doesn't take honestly. His com- he's not a good. His comedy is even subpar. He's so not his a acting. Good actor. I could imagine. I don't, dis- I don't dislike the guy because I think. I can relate to him in certain ways and stuff, and I think we could. I think if I met the guy, I'd probably like be cool with him. I think we could be friends, but I definitely think he's just one of these like suckers, basically. Yeah. And he's like this tall guy who always puts his head down. Industry and, like, plant. Um, uh, uh, low self esteem and everything. He's an industry plant. Well, I mean, yeah, probably. He's not funny, right? We can not agree really, on that. Not really. The funniest thing he says is like jokes about his dad dying in nine eleven. Right. It's all he's got. So he's not funny. He's not that funny. Right? Then we go to, is he attractive? Not attractive. He's not I would like say he's GQ's. not He's not ugly, but he's not, a, he's not like a, he's not He's a dopey looking dude. And he's then. He's uh, slightly above average. His personality. But think about it. He's 10 feet tall, so he's probably has a big dick. That's he's like maybe part true. of it. His personality is like Eeyore. Definitely Eeyore. Big Eeyore. Big Eeyore. And then we can, you watch a movie, his acting is not good. No, so not, why not the fuck acting, is he one of the acting. top celebrities being talked about in the scene at the moment? We need people Industry to plants. push. Yeah, I mean, we need people to hit certain marks. Yeah. So we need the and now the, and he's dating only the top women in Hollywood. Crazy, Ariana Grande, Kim Kardashian, fuck out of here. I know it sucks because Ariana Grande mm. used to be She's fire. Not. Oh yeah, she got a Zempic face, right? Yeah, bad. She can get it back. I believe in you. She's gonna die. No, she ain't gonna die. She's I'll gonna marry die. her. She's still gonna die if you marry her. You're just gonna marry her. Grande. I think she rolls her R. Grande. Not really that good at it. With that mouth too. No. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. There's a lot of sad, sad stories. And when we find out all the Hollywood sad stories, it's gonna be even sadder. Is it though? I feel yeah, like it'll be it's going weight to be. off our shoulder. Yeah, but well, yeah. Overall, it's going to be nice for society, but like the individual stories are going to be very sad. Oh, I'm sure. Like everybody, getting all the messed we up with, getting growing Bieber, up. Bieber, Leo did too. All of them, Leo. Like they're all, they all are, were abused mm-hmm. and just completely destroyed. And like we want to be like, oh fuck them, but like they were born into it and like. They were victims. Yeah, seeing the Literally videos. victims. Seeing the videos of Leo back in the day as a kid getting, like, touched on and shit by older men and women, and like, behind the sh- scenes. And they did that shit with Bieber. And they recorded it because, like, they didn't really think much of it, so they recorded it. And then you see it now and you're like, oh, this, like, makes more sense with all the shit going on now. Yeah. And then Bieber, too, same thing. And you're just, I just sit there and I'm like. The Mickey that, Mouse Club. Yeah, like, they're fucked. The Mickey Mouse Club was literally, like, Justin Bieber. Ryan Gosling, mm-hmm. Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears. They were all in the same little group of... Really? Yeah. The Mickey Mouse Club was literally a P-file training camp for for them to build up these Crazy. little kids and play with them. And then The world we live in is insane. But the wave is crashing, folks. And that's why we do this podcast. So Shamik, brother Shamik, who did not text me. Maybe he did. My bad. Maybe, maybe he did. Nah, no text. So <laughs> so Shamik, if you're watching this, which you're not. But hey, brother. This is why we do the podcast. Mm-hmm. Because we, we get off track sometimes. But we want Most people to. Well, it's fun. We're, you yeah, know, absolutely. Good time. But we want people to know. What's going on? There's a there's a big thing happening. And sure, that sounds shitty and horrible, which it is. But like Wait, the way does that sound why does that sound shitty and horrible? Because of all the victims. There's a lot of victims. Yeah. I mean that's kinda sucks. It's gonna it's it's gotta happen. But it's had to happen there's for There's gotta be victims for something to be seen as bad. Right. So it had to happen for things to crash the way they're crashing. But we're in the middle of the wave crash. Yeah, we are. And at the end of the day, the evolution of man is going to be in the mind. 
So all this stuff that we were talking about earlier about, you know, needing to control, needing to, you know, fear the unknown, all that stuff's going away for mm-hmm. both of us and everyone else. And everyone's living in that fear mindset, not everyone, but that's what's predominantly causing all these problems because people are scared about, well, what if I can't do that? Cause what if, if we can stop caring about the, what if we start just acting, which we're doing now. So we're just part of, we're just a little part of the wave. Just trying to push it a little forward. That's all. And we're we going to continue to crash. Do. Oh yeah. Need it to crash, but we're going to continue to push our drops and then our drops affect the people we work with. The Brandons, the Nicks, the Shamiks, the Bryans. Damn, we went from naming not even our last names of the first few episodes to naming associates at the job we work well, at in the city. these are just first names. Don't s- I mean, I mean, what do you think? Th- these are people of – these are loving people. Absolutely are. So, of course, they're we're not scared people. to tell our names. Again, there's no fear. There's nothing to worry about. No, you're what do you right. think? You know, you're going right. to shoot you're us right. in the head? You're right. Is your name Shamik? You're right. <laughs> like who? Who? The cat? What about getting canceled, though? Who's going to cancel us? We're uncancelable. First of all, we got our own YouTube channel. Okay. Dropthevel.com. Get your shirts today. We could potentially use that as a place to put videos if we needed to, if we if it got to that point. True. Did she just fart? But, yeah. Oh, that was your feed. <laughs> but, Imagine. yeah, dude. First of all, we're not big enough to be canceled yet. And if we start from the bottom as we have, I mean, we've been talking facts since day one. All we do is talk facts. I mean, have we ever really been scared about getting canceled? No. Nah. I mean, I'm sure as we get bigger, we're going to, the fear, the potential fear of getting canceled could increase. But should it? Think about Kill Tony. Yeah. He got completely canceled. Dropping racist stuff about Chinese people, which was his opener. It was like it's us calling Eric Tay the C word or something like it was a joke. Rhymes with bink. I'm not going to say it. But anyway, I meant the one that rhymed with bunt. I was like, oh, it doesn't make much sense. Oh, no, not that one. No, but like the point is now he's got the number one podcast or not the number one live podcast in the world. He's getting a million views. Yeah. People. And he's got to kill Tony. Well, that's what I'm talking about, Kill Tony. That's, oh, is that yeah, a podcast? Yeah. yeah, it's a podcast. Every Monday. Yeah, yeah, Oh, I thought that was just like stand-up comedy. No, bro. It's a it's a live podcast, which does stand-up comedy. It's both. Really? Yeah, dude. I had no it's idea. It's good. It's funny as fuck. They do one-minute segments. They bring, they, they pull out, they're like 200 people. That's why I said Austin is where we should go, because that's where they do it. But they have a hat of like 200 people. They pull a name out of the hat. They have a couple of regulars, but they pull a name out of the hat. They get one minute to do comedy. That's it. Really? And then at the end, they either say, great job, or they completely tear them apart. And they interview them. And like they have like a five-minute interview. And then Love they, that. Yeah. Love that. I got to watch that. It's hilarious, dude. It's fucking yeah, hilarious. I got to watch that because it sounds hilarious. It's really good. I mean, the, the bad comedians are kind of cringe. There's definitely some cringe moments. Some of the regulars, William Montgomery. Big ups to you, brother. A little pot killer, pot. killer. Oh, this guy's a monster. He's a fucking freaking angel. He's got like this. He's bald like me. If I if I let my hair grow, I'd look like him. But he's ginger. Oh shit! And he's a funny ginger funny. with the clown do. He's funny. He he talks about the shit we're talking about, but he'll just like, we'll like, all right, there's a few topics this week. Let's talk about this, this, and that. He'll just have like four jokes ready. Like Hillary Clinton is the punchline of a bunch of them. Getting murdered by the Clintons. Like that type shit. Really? Yeah. I got to watch this shit. That sounds amazing. William, and the funny thing about Maria, not to bring her back. I love, love me. <laughs> Do it. Come on. The lovely, beautiful, angelic, loyal Maria. Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. Anyway. She uh, wasn't into me. She liked everyone else. No, I'm kidding, 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 kidding. She just loved herself, and she knew best. So you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Damn, and you're calling her old. Well, I, it's a it's a phrase. It's, oh, I'm, she's not I've old. I've never she's, heard that phrase. I'm sorry. You can't teach a 
woman who don't need no man about how to need a man. Maybe Facts. you could say that. And, yeah. and the earth being flat, that thing was just, you know. Well, the water doesn't if spill, so, you know. Just saying. If you're really woke, she even had, how do we, god damn it. We gotta just talk about it, fuck it. Damn. Because she, Maria, I know you're not gonna watch this, but you know I love you, but she had like, she's had like out-of-body experiences and like astral projection and very, okay, you can roll your eyes. Sure. But the funny part is, sure. this guy never believes anything. If I can't see it, I don't believe so it. So the girl, well, the girl who doesn't want to listen to anything you say because she don't need no man and you don't agree with anything no, well, that she I'm says, about to... you believe that she has to project. Well, listen to All this. Right. If you listen to the story, you're going to understand why I'm saying this. So she is like flat earther, which means she's kind of stuck on level two. She went too far on level two woke. Mm-hmm. Level two is like conspiracy woke and level three is like all is one woke, right? The real shit. So she got so far into level two where she believes all the shit. I, she doesn't. I don't think she believes birds aren't real, but like, she's on the flat. Majority earth of that shit. shit, yeah. You know, there's there's a couple really really bad ones, and most of it's right. But so we got into the thing about the, all that, and she's like, oh, "Yeah, I astral project," and I'm like, "Okay, so what did the Earth look like when you saw?" Because she was like, she like zoomed out and she saw the planet from like mi- millions of miles away, and she goes, "It was round." And I go, hello. Uh, so, and then, second point, because we're in court now, and I got to prove my case. Mm. So they have these little things that are supposed to like these like uh, whatever it is. It's supposed to like tell you the right answer, like a Ouija board kind of. Like you say yes or no, and it like it'll go towards yes and go towards no. Mm-hmm. Hold on, Riley. So I asked, okay, ask it about the flat earth. Is the earth flat? No. I'm like, okay. Is the earth round? Yes. I'm like, all right, Maria. So what do you believe exactly? So you believe, do you believe in this little machine or whatever it is? Mm -hmm. Because the machine agrees with one thing. Yeah. Do you believe with the astral projection? Because that agrees with the, or do you just believe what some, guy told you everything's a lie so the earth is flat is her mindset basically and i'm like well what about this so it's a contradiction obviously the what do you woke mean contradiction? the woke shit what do you mean Why what do you mean it? by its contradiction meaning you can't believe in both at the same time you can't believe in astral projection and the little swingy thing and believe in flat earth at the same time because one says no and the other says yes. Right. So if you believe in both, uh, there's a there's a contradiction. So do you think using those tools is just like a game for her? It's not really a yeah. thing that she actively uses to learn. Obviously. It's just like a, a, a magic trick. Well, she doesn't take it like seriously. A bar trick. Yeah, she doesn't really believe in it, obviously. Gotcha. She just like I think she just likes, no offense, I think she just likes to be the contrarian like, I know everything, and the earth is flat, and I'm sorry, you don't get it, peasant type shit. Mm. Oh, you don't understand? Look, she'll say some condescending stuff or whatever. Anyway, sorry, Maria. You're not watching this anyway, but. Still love you. How did we get to that point? Because there was something before that. That's a great, I got off that's track. That's a great question. Big time. How did we get to that point? And there was something more, much more substantial mm-hmm. that we were talking about. How do we get to that point? That's a great question. It was a real left turn. I think it was about people who... Kill Tony? Yeah, kill Tony. Oh, because the guy talking about Hillary Clinton. Oh, I remember. So I love this William Montgomery guy. He's hilarious. And part of the reasons that I knew she wasn't the one for me was because one night I passed out and I had a William Montgomery Montgomery like best of going. It's so like I passed out and she was like on her phone, you know, playing solitaire. You go to sleep, you go to, sleep to William Montgomery Best of? Well, this, well, this one night. Happened to? Well, this one night, it was one of those type of nights. Oh, yeah. And not to get too into it, but and those nights she would just become a little. I got to play solitaire. I'm Golem, basically, from Lord of the Rings. My precious. And I'm like, hello, do you want to hang out? And she's like. I got to get my numbers. I'm like, okay. Anyway, so she, so I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to watch Wing. I hate this guy. I don't want to watch it. And I'm like, fuck you. I like it. You're playing solitaire. Yeah. What is this relationship exactly? So anyway, so I fall asleep. Yeah. And I wake up like two hours later. It's still going. 
And she's like, yeah, I had to listen to that Willie Montgomery for like three hours. And, da, 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 and, mm. complain. and it really made me happy because even though she didn't like it, it is funny. And some of that comedy seeped into her brain, even if she doesn't like it. Same with Tim Robinson. She hated I Think You Should Leave. Really? See, I didn't like it when I first saw it. And then when we were watching it on the way to Nashville, I actually did. Hell it's yeah. a great show. And that's why I think Sir Sierra was my best girlfriend of all time. Because why do you she think that? and me and her, when that, fir- when that show first came out, we would get high and we would be crying, just crying, laughing, watching mm. this. Both of us just like. She's funny. She's the what funniest happened? Why, girl why did I ever that one, met. Why did that one end? Uh, I would say mostly because of me. I was just blackout drunk every day. I wasn't showing her any love or affection or anything like that. It, I yeah, I really let her down, I would say, for sure. Sorry, Sierra, if you're well, watching this. Some, some self-accountability. It's no, it's good. true. It's true. Because I was literally, that was back when I was three shots in the morning, three at nine, three at lunch. I was doing a bottle a day-ish. So That's I'd get home crazy. from work. Oh, my boyfriend's home. Drunk again for the every day. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's. he's going to take a nap for two hours mm-hmm. to sober up, wake up. Drink some more. What kind of that's a, what kind of relationship is that? That's not great, no. And that's what I was get, offering her, and she was she was ready to get married and all that shit at, at, at one point. We were planning on really? doing the whole thing. Oh yeah, like we were like, oh, of course we're gonna get married. Like this is it, of course. Yeah, I mean, we had other things not in common. She was very into the YouTubers and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is stupid. But now it's funny because now lately I've been like. Well, I don't think YouTubers are great or anything, but yeah, I still think they're kind of lame, like tan emoji and like we're, makeup stuff. But that's what girls like that stuff. I, we're I don't you, give a fuck. We're YouTubers. Yeah, but we're like, we're like doing a podcast. Mm. We're not doing a makeup, but at the same time, that's why I'm like taking back what I'm saying in the moment because, like, I watch YouTube all the time. And you watch like, video games. I'm not going to make fun. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to make fun of her for watching a makeup video when she does makeup. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, she's very good at it. Actually, she's mm-hmm. very artistic. And then me, I'm going to watch a or a chess video, and I suck at chess. Mm-hmm. I'm going to spend 30 minutes watching yeah, Gotham chess. Yeah, you do. I've only played. I'm still very new, but Terrible. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. Yeah, you are. I'm bad. It's a good time though. I'm bad. It's it is fun. It is you. fun. But like, I'll watch a chess video or anything stupid. So like. Anyway. I started playing more after me and you played. Yeah, I, I around twelve hundred as a score. That's where what? I like. That's where I sometimes will lose. That's 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 good. That's really good. Twelve hundred is really good. Yeah, but like Larry Fitzgerald is like a three thousand, supposedly. No, he's not. And it, you could play Larry Fitzgerald in the thing. The football player. Uh huh. So Fitzgerald, he's a grandmaster. Kyler Murray. Yeah, if you go into the computers, it takes the the style that they play and how many times they've played. And you play like a computer version of them. Twenty five hundred is Grandmaster. And Gotham Chess, the guy that I watch, and like he, he's not even that. There's no way Larry Fitzgerald is three thousand. Yeah, they play. I mean, they, maybe I've watched their live All things. Right. Like they've Damn, Larry really? Fitzgerald and Kyler Murray. I mean, okay, maybe. And there's maybe. a few other NFL players and MLB players who did like a tournament, Whoa, and they bro, they're sick. I Holy watched them play. Shit. They're sick. Like I was trying to keep up with one of them. I couldn't. Whoa. Okay, let me take it back because I'm 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 doing what I you wouldn't expect. It. I get crazy shit about that yeah. for saying no. You can't. No, maybe they could. Whoa. Bro, it's crazy. You wouldn't think that from like NFL players. They're I always so thought good. Larry Fitzgerald was a smart motherfucker. He's, he is a smart motherfucker for sure. He oh he's got that because he always caught the ball in like the smartest way. You know what I'm saying? Every time. He never got hit much. No, he knew how to run routes. He knew how to catch the ball. He wasn't he taking it over like Anquan like, Bolden when they were when they worked yeah. together. He was more just like the fucking the Jerome Bettis almost yep. bad example, but the bus. He'd go right in the middle. He'd take the slants all day, mm-hmm. get destroyed. Fitzgerald was always just doing these little touch passes, dodging the tackle, going out of bounds. Yeah, smart football. Played smart football, absolutely. That's very true. So, that's that's how you stay, you know, your longevity. Because like, absolutely. look at AB. He was running in the middle and just getting fucking smacked. Like who? 
Antonio Brown. Oh, yeah. And now he's just fucked mentally. I mean, he might have been mentally fucked the whole time. When he started, he was very good. He was very nice, respectful, God-fearing, like, typical Southern boy. But, like... You think the hits changed it? Bro, he was getting licks. Because he was, like... Mm-hmm. He was he was fast. So, like, his first season wasn't bad because he was fast. He was just running, like, streaks, and he was fine. But then he's... We, he started getting double teamed, so he'd have to like run ten, cut into the middle, mm. and then eventually now people he's caught smashed that. By his Bro, I remember there was one where like he got knocked out from a Ravens player. Like I think Ray Lewis or not Ray Lewis. Oh. Uh, Ed I Reeves. forgot who it was. I don't know if it was him. I don't know, but he got he was running through the middle, and he went to catch the ball and just went helmet to helmet with a Ravens player, and he dr- his whole body went slump. He dropped, and they like it took like a minute for him to get back up. And he was just doing that all the time. Interesting. You want to hear something crazy about the Dolores Cannon stuff? Yeah. So she talks about this thing that happens sometimes. And this is wild. Where basically a soul will kind of like give up halfway through. And another soul will take over. Really? So like imagine. Yeah. So imagine like Brian gets hit. He just gets destroyed. And he's like, I'm done with this shit. I'm going to die. And then some other soul is like, oh, I'll I'll take over. And then the reason that his personality changed was because a new soul was in there. Like, all right, really? I'll take over for you. I got you. I don't want to waste this life. This Antonio Bryant life is pretty dope. Yeah. I don't want to start a whole new life. That's Let me start it halfway through. You want to die? Let me just finish for you. Crazy. And if you think about the idea of infinity... Yeah. Meaning everything is possible. Mm-hmm. Everything is happening. Anything you could imagine is happening in some, not necessarily here, somewhere. Everything's here, but, you know, so that's real. That's crazy. That You don't like that idea, do you? I mean, it's possible, yeah. I mean, I believe in spirits. I believe in, like, souls or whatever. Like, I believe mm-hmm. in the consciousness. Um, so I, I wouldn't necessarily not agree with that. As much as I would not agree with some other things, some of the thoughts. That one's right. like, I think that one's feasible. Cause which, I can wait, see which that. one are you talking about? The ones that I don't agree with or the ones no, that the I one do? that you say you, you're saying the one, which one are you agreeing with right now? I agree with the fact that like a spirit or a, 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 conscious, a consciousness or whatever can be like, I'm done. And then another one comes in and is like, nah, I'll take over. I, I believe in that. And that could, I mean, a lot of like mental disorder could be explained with that as well. Uh, it could be. Like Kanye changing up so hard? It's possible. That could be something like that. CTE? Could CTE. be something like that. What's that stand for? The concussions that NFL players oh, get when they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they die from because they, they become suicidal. Yeah, that's true. What about the idea that like they forcibly do it? What do you mean? So like, like Kanye said, you know, if I ever start acting weird... It's not me. It's a clone or this or that. Mm -hmm. What if it's like, I mean, it could be both. Obviously, it's probably everything. But what if they could forcibly do it where they almost take Kanye's soul out and and plant some nefarious soul in? I, I don't think that's completely out of the question. I would say it's very unlikely. Because they do that with the like the Satan or whatever taking over during like concerts i think there's some type of like demonic worship that happens at certain people's concerts yeah and i so i feel like you know getting an evil or demonic entity to take over a body isn't completely out of the question and i don't even think you need to necessarily replace it i think you could just have it take over just put it on top like people who are possessed when people become possessed right they're not removing their own spirit they're just becoming controlled let- by something else. Yeah, they're letting this other energy take exactly. over, basically. And it really just comes down to energy, right? That's all it is. Everything's energy. Because everyone has this like little little spark in the middle, and it's like, are you gonna let other other things like close in on you? Or are you gonna Can't stay bright, basically? Have to stay bright, like the sun, like you. That's the moon right there. The sun, the moon, and the stars. Riley, Riley, beautiful kitty. She gets scared every time. Well, scaredy cat. Pussy cat. 
Where do those words come from? But guess who survives? Who live? Who lives longer, cats or dogs? Who lives longer? Cats. How long they live? They don't die. They run away. The dog will protect you and die. Man's yeah. best friend. The cat will run away and live. I'm not saying they live longer because... Yeah, I'm looking at you. Yeah, I know who you are. The second I die, you're going to start eating my bones. I know you. Cats are very much selfish compared to dogs. Right. And if, like, a lion... or Say I'm fighting the wolf. Mm -hmm. Riley is not going to help me. Correct. If I had a dog, Lucius even... And yes, that is Sierra's old dog. Mm. Shout out to you, Lucius. <clears throat> He's a pussy. He probably wouldn't help. But a, a good dog would help. A, right. a, be, a real man's best friend dog would help. Oh, wow. And die. Yes. So it's almost like, why do men, why do women live longer than men? Because men are doing war. We're hang gliding. We're f punching each other for fun. Mm -hmm. We do things that are dangerous. We're on the, the oil rigs. We're skydiving. We're doing all sorts of dangerous shit because it's fun for us. Absolutely. So are men, is men's life expectancy worse because we're just genetically worse? Or are we just putting ourselves in the most dangerous positions way more often? I think we're more stressed. I think that's part oh, of it. There, I would say that's, well, would you say, yes, I would say it's both. I thought about this today, too. So you think what I'm saying is I think it's very valid. true. I think it's very okay. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because we put ourselves in more dangerous predicaments than a woman Tens Any job do. where you have to climb up something big, women aren't doing that. Yeah. I mean, if you take it like our lives, for example, we don't really put ourselves in much danger. Well, we chose not to. Right. Compared to women. But think about my four DWIs and all the times that I was driving drunk, speeding. I mean, it's not a brag, but that's dangerous. I would say so. Or just like back to drunk stuff. I'm slapping some guy on the back who I just met, and he's, like, in a biker gang. Yeah. And I just – I have this vibrato. Uh, my inner spark is really sparking. Yep. And all of a sudden, I think I'm untouchable. Women aren't doing that. No. Hey, sir, what's up? Like, fucking with people? Nah. That's a dangerous thing. You could get killed by doing that. You talk to the wrong person. Oh, they, absolutely. They could shoot you. I'm surprised you haven't been shot. Well, I got something that – is very important. Oh, I got. You're supposed to answer it. Yeah. Context? Yeah. yeah. Um, they got nothing. Okay, never mind. Anyway, I'm a I'm a man of the people. So that's like, what you got. Yeah, that's what I got. I have charisma. You. I have Riz. Yeah, I'm, I got Riz. I feel like you've just luckily not gotten killed. <laughs> it's not luck because there have been scenario like. That John scenario in Nashville? No. Nah, nah, if fuck. John didn't know you, you would have gotten fucked up. If me and John weren't boys. Yeah. But we are boys. Yeah, so that's why you only got what you got. Because of our relationship. I'm good with relationships. Yes, you are. I can make a relationship with someone instantly. Yes, you can. So you can you. have a knack. So the reason that I'm not getting my ass beat all the time is because I make this you relationship. You know who to do it to. Well, that too. But I, yeah, and then I, you make the relationship with the person real quick. You become mm -hmm. quick friends. And they don't want to punch you because, like, ah, oh, that's my friend. You right. know, I might have met you 10 minutes ago. Smart man. Strategic. It's not it. smart. It's how I – I'm not thinking about it when I'm doing it. I just – I like people to be happy. I like everyone to get along. Mm -hmm. That's my whole thing. Teaching people patience. Even though I lack it. Yes. But because you're so profound with your personality when you're drunk. Profound? Yes. You okay. teach people patience. Interesting. I don't know what profound means. I don't think that really relates. A large personality when you're drunk. When you're not drunk, you time Very when chill. you're loud and when you're not. Like Very it's chill. timed. When you're drunk, all. you're only loud and only energetic and only physical yeah. all the time. Right, right, right. So it's definitely not the best. I wouldn't but. say it's the best. This guy has moments. You're funny. As long as as long as you're not doing it the shit to me problems, personally, it does cause problems. I think it's funny. 
When it starts coming to my way, like when you're messing with my hat, I have an issue. But if you're not doing it to me, I think it's funny. Yeah, no one likes to get fucked with. No. And I like to. And you I, love to fuck I, with I people. I like to push the envelope. Yes, I'm you a do. Big, I love the envelope because I hate authority. Yep. And even with like in a situation between friends, it's like I like to see where the line. I need to know where the line is. That's all. Yeah. Absolutely. And and when I see where the and line I agree. is, when I find the line, like with John, mm-hmm. and he was like, you know, I'm gonna kill you. I said, oh, I found the line. There it is. Let's push and it. And I didn't kick him again. True. So it's like, I like to I like to give myself as much space as possible. Okay, that's you know respectable. And but when someone says here's here's my wall, mm-hmm. once I know it's there, I'm sure you're the same way. Yeah, I mean you don't push it as much as I no, do. No, I don't push as much as you do. I kind of like feel the wall. You like need to touch. Well, the because wall. sometimes you think the wall is somewhere, but it's way further than it really. And you want to know where how far? I don't know where it really get. is. I don't yeah. want to know where I think it is. I want to know where it actually is. Yeah, how far can I push this motherfucker? Yeah. So you got to make sure. And I've been, I've been, you know, I've, I've been pushed down the stairs. I remember one time in Oswego, shout out Oswego. Um, I was at the bar and, uh, you know, it was one of these bars where you have to walk up the stairs to get to the bar, to get to the guy checking IDs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was, you know, on one, as they could say. Mm-hmm. And I remember like kind of like fake punching somebody, mm-hmm. a random dude, Jesus like a stranger. Christ. I was just like, ah, I'll get you. <laughs> Something like that. Sounds like you. I barely remember it. I was like, and my people were already in there. So I was, I, I wasn't like was surrounded. By yourself? I was by myself. Like my people were in there and I'd been here a, a million times. Yeah. So like I felt comfortable and I was just, of course, wasted. And I'm just like, ha ha, I'll get you. And then something happened. I went over the line and I don't know if it's a bartender or somebody and they just gave me the old shove. And I just rolled down. All the stairs. Jesus. I remember hitting the ground, like, kind of not sure what happened. Uh Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, did I go too far? (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Crazy. Well, that's a good lesson to learn. Is that the brick, by the way? I wonder if that's still around now. If the brick is still real in Oswego, put it in the comments. And tell me what your favorite drink is. And they had. Guess what their special was there. Their special? Food they had or a drink? special drink there, and it's it's the most obvious answer. The one that I would like the most. It's that's what they had. What was it? The Long Island. Exactly. They had lo- strong islands there mm-hmm. that were this. You know those little the little clear disc Dixie cups. Yeah. The little baby ones. Yeah. Six shots in there for four dollars. It was insane. Jesus Christ. So. And that's where it all began. Yeah. Weed, uh, alcohol ain't it. No. No, definitely not. But you on the weed, very mellow. You on the alcohol, very aggressive. But if you love people, even when you're being a drunk asshole, if you exude love, I think love comes back to you. So you say to me, oh, I'm surprised you didn't get destroyed or beaten up or anything. Because I never really, I never had malicious intent. Mm-hmm. I was always a man of the people even when I said some vile shit or whatever, I was still trying to be funny or it was all trying to be uplifting. I'm right. always trying to lift up a positive. So if you're always lifting up, can never get the brought world down? lifts you up. I mean, it's not to say you can't get fucked, but unlikely less likely. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. It is. It is. You're not wrong. Well, that's not true, but, no, I anyway. think. Yeah, go ahead. We got go a pull ahead. for the week. Yeah, we should do a quick. Should we do a full uh, Celtic? No, we don't got time for that. Celtic. We don't got anyone for Celtic right now. Well, we do have many people. Let's do a Celtic I'm so for Riley. Curious about everyone we work with. To be honest, no. I would love to. Can pull we do Celtic unasked for, for Celtics? Of course we can. Just unwarranted Celtics on people. Well, we're just trying to s- sneak into their brain. Yeah. Oh. So should we sneak someone's brain? Let's do it. Why so not? So we should make someone's brain. Oh, let's do it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Because he's his hater rating. I'll watch it. And he and when you do Shamik, just know everything is terrible, brother. Look at Riley just enjoying. Know, she's it. a real woman of the people. That's my daughter. 
So I had this idea that like, imagine if, sorry, Riley, don't listen. Riley dies, right? Mm-hmm. And then, I mean, you're going to die eventually. And then imagine if I have a daughter like the next year or something, and it's her soul. It would be, for sure. So I have to name the kid Riley. 100%. I'm going to let you do this because I, I got to kind of, if you don't mind. You got to what? I got to kind of give her a little a little love, you know what I'm saying? A little loving? Yeah. All right, so we got, who is this person? So this is going to be... Um, not who is this, like, answer the question. Oh, this card yes. is who is this person. Oh, yes, yes. Big S. Ooh, him and his wifey. Yeah? Got the, what, four? Four of wands? So we got the four of rods. The rods. Yes. Let's Especially talk about it. No, don't don't rush it. Don't rush it. We got to we gotta take our time here. We're, we're almost done. It's going to be a longer podcast yeah, today. Yeah, it's fine. But we got the four rods. We got the husband and wife situation. And we got like, so it's like, it's not quite the same as like his mindset, but like, mm. he's in that like, I got a happy wife and a happy life, right? And that's our boy, Big S. We won't say the name. Nah, definitely not. We would never say no, should no. Anyway, and then the obstacle. Oh, all right, cut it. Just cut it. Can we end the podcast? Damn. <laughs> Damn. No, 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 no. The devil's not bad, but we know that the devil's the addiction. The devil's the addiction. And, oh, jeez. He's got some addictions. Definitely has some addictions. Oh, boy. I mean, look at these two. They're looking at each other. They're chained together. The devil's just on top. Reverse pentagram. Fire everywhere. Hmm. So, is what is the struggle? S- hypothetical S. Hypothetical S. What is your struggle? Now, what? Well, what does he know? What does he know? Let's put it right there. Page of Cups. Oh, new love. Interesting. Interesting. The Page of Cups. Not in reverse. So what does that mean to you, Mike? I mean, we we know about the love. Cups and is the the, water, the emotion. The emotion. Page is the rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking. I'm trying to think, the rookie of emotion. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tie it into his life. Well, don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. what is he going through, or what is going on that would be? But also, don't forget, you you might not know what his life. He he keeps a lot close to the vest. He does. So you might think it's one thing. Just give him a generic. He's answer. Learning, learning how to, learning how to handle his emotions. Mm. Learning how to. I can fuck with that. Learning how to deal with emotion. Because he's a kind of guy who's a little bit, um, you could say, stoic. Yes. He has emotions, but he keeps them in a closet, locked up somewhere that no one could ever bottled get. up. No one ever is gonna know. He's like, everything's a sarcastic joke because I can't be serious. Right. Or can I? So it's almost like the water of emotion. He's He knows he's starting to let it flow a little mm-hmm. bit. And that's him now. Right now. So even now, and you, and you know, he is potentially going to be a partner in the podcast. Potentially. Mm. This is someone, I hate to, I hate to spoil it. I won't say the name, but. <laughs> this is someone who could could potentially join the the crew and be more of like yeah. a producer and art director. He's got that artistic side to him, and he's this guy. I mean, the the water is art. Yeah, absolutely, he's the left brain. So he's finally opening up to his artistic side. What doesn't he know? Oh, that's a good question. Judgment, <laughs> judgment doesn't know about the judgment. And what does that mean he doesn't know about the judgment? Whose judgment? What judgment? Well, let's look at the card and see what the card tells us. So, obviously, some white, blonde-haired piece of shit up top. Ah, yes. Some, okay. uh, the judgment from the man, you could say. Mm-hmm. And then the people below, the gray people, just, like, begging for a chance to get judged. So, maybe he doesn't know that although he is on this new loving journey that 
he is the one judging. Okay. Or if he is being judged, I mean, what does that mean exactly? You think you think he's going to be the type to just bow down to authority? Or you think he might notice the judgment and see it as an opportunity to become the judge? That'd be a difference for him. He he's very good with the flow, so he might he might be seeing the judgment as maybe he doesn't like the judgment happening. Mm. He's not a fan of the judgment, mm. but he's not one to really speak up. And he doesn't. And he's almost unaware of it. Yes. So it's like, don't be the guy, the be, don't be the guy in gray. Just like looking be to someone judge. else. Yeah. Don't don't be looking to someone else to tell you what the answer is. You're the judge. He doesn't know it, but doesn't mean it's not within him. Oh, he knows. He doesn't is, know it, but it's within him for sure. Because it's part of the. It's part of it. Mm-hmm. So this, this is kind of an internal. But let's see what his past is like. Let's In creep reverse. into the past. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Against In the past. The, oh, I like that. It's almost kind of like reminds me of our podcast a little bit. Yeah. Because you're very Pentacle. Mm-hmm. And I'm very anti-Pentacle. Right. In a way. So this is almost an anti-Pentacle card. Because it's in reverse. Mm-hmm. So it's like the idea that everything that is important is here on Earth. All the the new ideas and the new journeys are right here. And you got to have facts to understand things. If there's no fact, it doesn't make sense. Right. He says, no, no, no. He's always been a type of, type of thinker. Yeah. Who thinks outside the the box is Pentacle? I hate to break it to you. Yeah. If you're on Pentacles, Pentacles are fine. They're right. good. You need them, Riley. Yes, I know. But if you're outside the Pentacles, you're more of a philosophical thinker. Perhaps you're someone who's maybe thinking about yes, an aristocrat. Sure, there's the earth, an aristocrat. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that type of thing. That's what I'm getting. But I don't know. What do you see? Anything there? I mean, I think that you're. I think he is a deep thinker, and he's I, been a deep thinker. This isn't new. I don't think he's necessarily been one to chase the physical. No, of it's been not. very. You know, he he is in the he is in the philosophy. He's in the ideology. Mm-hmm. Uh, he studies religion, so I can see this definitely making sense for his past. And this is not new, right? Not new and at since all. Since meeting him, I would say, yeah, I would agree. And his future. Ooh, what is the future? Let's see it. Strength in reverse. Ooh, strength in reverse. The struggle. In reverse. So it's like, I mean, how, 20-something years old, right? Strength is so good because look at it. It's Riley. It's infinity. It's heavy. Strength is so good. It's Riley. <laughs> well, that's Riley right there. You got this gigantic, you got this gigantic monstrous beast. And strength says it doesn't have to be forceful. Mm-hmm. You can just pet it. You can be, Riley, I will pet it. I'll pet you to death if you don't stop. We're having a podcast. Thank you. Anyway, you don't have to destroy the, the big strong cat who will kill you. Right. The wolf. Mm, now it's starting to come together. It doesn't have to be destroying the bobcat. Mm-hmm. You can give a little rubby dub dub. This is true strength. This is kind of what we've been talking about. Strength by letting go. Strength by not fighting fire with fire, but fighting fire with water. Mm-hmm. Fighting anger with empathy. Fighting battle with a big old hug. Ooh. Preach. So preach it's in reverse so it's going to take you a little while to get there but it's there so in the in in the immediate future you're going to deal with that obviously we'll see what happens afterwards but where's the mind at where's the mind at the mind is right and you can't make this shit up king yeah pentacles yeah that's a big fact not in reverse. So tell. So this is, ha- this is how he views himself. Tell. Let's just talk about it. King of Pentacles, the king of physical, the king of the physical realm, the fastest runner, the highest jumper, 
the he can push up the most. He can do the most push ups. Gotta have the the newest tech, the best tech, the biggest brain. Very much physical king of earth, king, the of best earth. man on earth. You're not although, wrong. Although you don't have the best hands. Ah, uh, yes, you'd, we've seen that. You don't have the best hands, but you, he's got everything else. So I would say that's very accurate. Absolutely. And and not to be not to say that it's not true. Mm-hmm. Well, not maybe not the king, but he is good at these things. He absolutely is. So it's not a it's not a delusional card. Mm-hmm. It's a it's an accurate it's card. Extremely accurate. Except for I would hands. Say so. Except for hands. Because you know I'll beat your ass in five hundred. And so next one. This is the outside, the circumstances. outside circumstances. Death. Ooh, big change. Big I feel like I've, n- I've never seen this one. I don't think. Oh, we've definitely seen it, but it's been a, it's been a while since we've seen that one. Got death. You got the the skeleton riding the horse into town with dead people all around, and it looks like a a pope or a king begging. Hopefully, it's a pope begging death for something. That's quite a card right there. So if you think about the world Mm -hmm. there's a lot of that going on absolutely outside circumstances death of of people for real Mm -hmm. it could be i mean your family situation something close or it could be something much bigger Mm -hmm. and it's i mean obviously this is a very strong 2024 card very strong for anybody Mm -hmm. death but the great thing about death is it's the end of a cycle. The end end. When you know what happens afterwards, it's a transformation. It's a rebirth. So it's almost like a clue about what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But you have to die before you can become the phoenix, obviously. Cannot rise again if you don't fall. Fears and oh, desires. Look, look, look. Fears and desires. You got the yes, five sir. of rods. Yes, sir. Just one, two, three, four, five men fighting with their five rods. And he doesn't like the battle. No, nah, he doesn't. He He's fears a very the battle. Very much so sit in the sit in the cut. Let yes. things come to you. When it comes to the sales floor, he doesn't like maybe there's a fear to battle everybody. What mm-hmm. if I lose? But Can't maybe there is a desire. Try. But maybe there's a desire to win. And maybe you deep I've down he seen. knows he's He's him, Mm -hmm. but it's hard to sometimes step into him if the fear is there. Exactly. And a lot of times the fear comes down to the devil. That's right. And this is the big obstacle. Don't let it win. This is a lie, obviously, but it exists in your mind. But what's going to happen at the end of the day? I mean, this is the real, real, the good, good. Oh. Bellissimo. You got the six of cups. Six of cups. Two, three, four, five, six. Full cups. Giving your cups away. Mm. They're so full. You're no longer a page of cups. You are six. And it's funny because he knows his emotional journey is kind of like being sparked. Mm -hmm. And his stoicism, he might get hit with a couple tears, some actual human emotion oh yeah you might have to deal with that it's a big change and imagine this when everything's full and then you start giving back to the unfortunate basically Mm -hmm. that's a big change he just alba has ever made that type of change lord can't ask for a better change can't ask for a better change went from a page of cups to a six of cups went from the page of pentacles to the king of pentacles mm. now. Yep. Then death and work brings you all the way to being the six of cups. Well, I mean, he's going to. That's gonna, a bright future. Yeah, he's going yes. to He's gonna get to the point where he has that. Obviously, you got the emotion and everything. It's there. No big deal. But you're going to get to the point where you're able to give it away. Where right now, maybe you're still feeling, I know I got it. This is the known. Mm -hmm. I know I got the cup, but 
I don't know. I'm still a I'm still a page. I don't know what to do with this. What happens if this happens? You know, like, and what about this? Other people judging me on the journey. The subconscious. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times it's just the subconscious mind. All the time. So at the end of the day, I love it because work, work, taking the strength and flipping it. And and I love, though, that it's actually about emotion at the end of the day. Yeah. The one thing that he tries to hide so very much. Because we know you're emotional. Mm -hmm. We know you got a big heart. We know you want to keep it to yourself. That's fine. But guess what? Eventually, the cup overfloweth, and you can't help but give it to even me and MC2. We'll get a couple splashes. I'm here for it. So in the comments, guys, make sure you put, what's the best cat treat to give your cats? 